Jace Tunnel here. Look what we got washing up this week. Paraffin wax. And I've seen this uh, over the years quite a few times. Sometimes it's white, sometimes it's yellowish, uh, sometimes it's a little gooey. This is uh, real brittle, uh, so it depends on how long it's been out there and I guess what type of wax it was. But uh, you might be wondering why is this much wax washing up on the beach? Because I'll tell you what, I could go along the high tide line here and most of it is the side, like I'm just, if, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the camera up and uh, pull it to where you can see all this behind me, but the high tide line is these smaller little pieces littered. And I've already gone down the beach today about 10 miles and it has been in the high, high tide line for that 10 miles. And, so, and I've still got another probably 12 miles to go. So I'm gonna see if it's uh, that, far. but it's thick. There's a lot of it right now. And you might be wondering, well, why is, where is it coming from? Is it natural? No, it's a petroleum based product and uh, how they ship this stuff around. And, well, well, let me tell you what they use it for. It's used for like cosmetics, uh, food packaging, candles, you know, all kinds of industrial applications. Um, but how it gets up on the beach is whenever they transport it, they uh, transport it in bulk and they have big ships that have these uh, tanks in there and they, the tanks are warm, so it keeps it kind of liquid. Well, wherever it gets where it's going, the destination, they offload it and there's still some residue in there. So uh, once they are offshore in deep water, way away from land, uh, they are able to clean it out. So you use hot water to wash those tanks out. And so what ends up happening is the leftover wax that's washed out ends up getting in the ocean currents and then washing back up on our beaches. Um, there is no application for this. Sometimes people say like once it washes up on the beach, you shouldn't be messing with it because, um, you know, a lot of people, they say, oh, it's soap. I'm going to use it and go, you know, scrub myself with it. Uh, no, that's not a good idea. Once it's in the ocean, you know, other things can, contaminants can get on it. Things can grow on it. So you don't want to use it for anything uh, after it's already been into the ocean, uh, which is a bummer, you know, because it's, it's sort of feels like it's wasteful leaving it on the beach. Um, now, is it bad for things? Well, there's, bir I've seen birds and crabs today nibbling on this stuff. And so there'll be chunks that are be about, you know, an inch in size. And right next to it, there'll be all these little bits of it where you can tell uh, a crab has been chewing on it. Uh, they'll be all around the crab's hole. So, uh, you know, whether that's bad for them or not, I don't know. I haven't seen any studies on it, but maybe that's out there. I do know that animals are feeding on it and eating it. Uh, so that, I, that cannot be good. Uh, that's just my thinking on it. There is a, uh, what's called MARPOL, and that's like a Marine Pollution Act, um, where there's guidelines for what uh, industries, you know, people, uh, really it's industries, can dump into the ocean and where. And so they, this is uh, legal under some circumstances, you know, as long as they're in deep water and way far from shore, uh, and maybe there's an amount too. I, I haven't looked at the regulation, uh, but just briefly looking into this, it looks like it is legal for them to do it. Now, to be able to have big chunks like this coming up, I don't know, I'm gonna dig a little more into that. It's not that uncommon to be able to find this washing up on Texas beaches, unfortunately, actually all around the Gulf. Well, I've seen it uh, quite a few times over the years. And like I mentioned, you know, all different uh, colors and sizes and all that kind of stuff. So I guess with this episode of Beach Coming, the main thing I wanted to point out is what these uh, white chunks are washing up on the beach and that it's not natural and that you shouldn't be using it uh, for bathing or anything. Okay, hopefully none of you beachcombers are gonna do that anyway, but uh, that's it for this episode of Beach Coming. Hopefully you learned something new and we'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.